Hello there, guys, and welcome back for some more tech kits. All right. So uh, off screen, I did a lot of work, um, and well, it wasn't really that much work. It was just basically me going AFK away from keyboard and just letting this thing do its work. Um, we got a lot of materials, and bet you're wondering why all the refined iron. Uh, well, we're gonna be needing a lot of that kind of stuff uh, in this episode because we're going to be working on actually improving the whole situation with power because basically this generator is taking up so much charcoal I've had to go back off camera and like condense a ton of stuff I condensed a ton of rubber sticky resin because um, when you extract sticky when you put sticky resin into an extractor you get three rubber which is really good um, so yeah I just thought I'd fill you in on that now we also have a lot of copper, and these are all the building materials to create uh, things like electronic circuits. Well, yeah, we're going to be working toward making... Oh, I was just looking at the overclocker recipe, by the way. Um, which we'll actually be able to work on getting here relatively soon. Um, we're going to be making a solar array. Uh, a low-voltage solar array. Um, so right here, we need glass coal dust, a g some generators, and an electronic circuit. Well, two for each. So yeah, to begin with, I'm going to make as many copper cables as I can, because we're going to need a lot. Um, and I don't know how much this is actually going to give us. Wow, that should we'll just even it out at, well, close to two stacks. Um, that gave us a lot more than I expected. So let's go ahead and grab the refined iron. And yeah, this is going to be easy. We need to make electronic circuits. So let's do this. Refined iron and redstone. I got that backwards. It's two redstone, one refined iron. And there we go, 16 electronic circuits. That's really nice. Now uh, we need to make... That's right, we need to make, um, oh, what are they called? I feel, I feel dumb right now. We need to make RE batteries, because those are needed in the recipe for a generator. So anyway, um, there we go, we've got our eight RE batteries. We're actually going to need to make, now that I think about it, I think three extras. Um, so let's just do that. There we go. So we have 11 of them. That's nice. And we're running low on redstone, so I'm going to pick some more of that up. As well as, we're going to need to some to condense some more cobblestone. So we'll do that. Um, and yeah, wow, I never thought I'd be able to get um, making something this huge, this, like, this big of a recipe. I never thought I'd be able to get this done as quick as I am. Um, so I'm just make an extra stack of cobble, and there we go. So we should be, I think we're almost there, actually. What else do we need to do, though? Um, door. Uh, let's see. I guess I can just click on it. Um, whoa, an LV trans... Oh, that's what it can be used in. <laughs> Never mind. Don't right-click. <laughs> Alright, so we need cables... Three copper and four wood. Um, don't have that much wood. That's unfortunate. So we'll just get two more of these. We're gonna need all of you. All right, this is going good so far. Uh, we'll build this, and that should get us all eight machine blocks. So now we do this, the batteries, and then oh. Uh, I forgot we need to make a stack worth of, or I mean eight furnaces. So there we go. That, that, and that. Going to get us eight generators. Now we need coal dust. If you didn't know how to get coal dust, all you do is you put it into a macerator. You can macerate coal. It'll turn into coal dust, and it's going to go through our system auto-magically into the furnace but it won't smelt so don't worry I guess I can just watch the macerator and show you that it turns into a coal dust and try to ninja it off as fast as I can so rapid clicks let's do this okay yeah I got it good so yeah coal dust right there 
Um, you're going to need 24 coal dust, and we're going to need 24 um, glass to do the recipe for solar panels. So let's get some more glass. Let's get that much, and 28, good. Now we're going to need four more wood. So for that, I think we'll just put in a piston, actually. And therefore, we won't run out of wood anytime soon. Um, so now we should be completely ready to make it. So that's... Wow, that was pretty quick, if I'm being honest. I never expected to get it crafted that quickly. So we're going to need to do this. And... Here we go. Like so. Now we've got the LV Transformer. Now all we need to do is set up the circuits the generator, the glass, which is this pattern, and then the coal dust. And this should make us eight solar panels. Yes, it did. My calculations were completely correct. We put the eight solar panels in an array, like so. Well, in, the, in a furnace recipe, the transformer in the middle, and we get a low-voltage solar array. Wow, that was really fast crafting, and I just remembered, um, I also wanted to make something else to actually store the power. We need a bat box, not a battery box. That's red power. Uh, let's see. Three RE batteries. Okay, yeah, we have the stuff for this. So you, the batteries, and then the wood, and there we go. The bat box is complete. So now, um, I think we'll have like a central storage thing right where the generator is, actually. Oh, by the way, I healed up my pickaxe using level 2 covalence dust. If you didn't know how to do that, um, I'll probably show that off in just a minute. The extractor, we're going to keep where it is for now. Actually, hmm. I'm going to need to rethink the locations of everything. I might have to move this entire setup, which would be really aggravating. But I think I might have to. Because really, it's just honestly not in a very good position. Hmm. I mean, no, it's just it's just really not in a very good position. All right. Well, we'll maybe we can put it up against this wall, or maybe we can, I don't know, do some stuff with it. I don't even know. But first, anyway, um, let's see. I think I'm gonna want to have the bat box in this corner. So we'll get the bat box. Here we go. And then with the bat box, you'll notice a few things. Um, one, when you place it, five of the sides have this greenish, or green, and then one side has the red. I don't know. I think on the default texture pack, the there like five of the sides have a, like one dot, and then the side that's red has three. So the side that's the one side that's different is the output, and you can change where the output is by using a wrench on it. So now the output is down, so that means it'll output energy that goes down. So looking at this, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably put the hmm, I think we'll put the macerator here, and then we can have a chest maybe up here that supplies power. Or that supplies the materials down into the uh, macerator. And then the piping like so. Putting it into a furnace. And then piping into a double chest right here. I think that'll work. So let's get that set up. Um, let's see. We'll need to do this. And then fill this central part in with a marble. Alright. Basically, I feel bad because now I'm just basically moving this setup from where it was. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's get the macerator set up. And unfortunately, it's actually gonna be night here in just a second. So let's try to sleep and not get killed by monsters. Hey, it worked. That was nice. Um, let's actually set up the solar array, though. So we're going to build, I think, a little platform for the solar array to rest on. Uh, cause it's, it's expensive equipment, it took a lot of resources to craft. So let's just dig up a bit of this dirt. And let's see. 
once we get this dug up, we'll put a wooden base. And it's, we're going to have a little, little form of solar farm back here. But for now, I think I'm just going to do a 3x3. Three three. And just put... Uh, where is my normal? It must be in here. There we go. Just delete the seeds, even though we can't because we're in recipe mode. And that doesn't allow you to delete. I'm so used to being able to delete. And now let's put the array right here, right in the center. And then the cables, the glass fiber cables, into the bat box. And you'll see the bat box is now, well, it will be in just a second, gaining electricity right here. Now, the bat box can store four, uh, 40,000 volts of electricity. So it's your least efficient storage device. You can get later on a much better uh, uh, storage device called an MFE or an MFSU. Now, an MFE it, it stores, I think, a million, and the MFSU stores like 10 million. But it's recipes; they are extremely costly, and we're not going to be really working on those at the moment. So let's see. I think what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to have a chest. Floating in midair up here, and then we'll have an engine and a red and a red. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. A wooden transport pipe right here, and then we'll have a lever right below it, um, like so. So we don't want it turned on yet. And then we'll put a cobblestone transport pipe right here. Then we'll need another wooden pipe. Ooh, we're going to need to use stone here. Normal default stone pipe. That's no big deal, though. Because we have a lot more of it. And then that'll go into a furnace, which we're actually, I think, going to make an even better furnace. Um, let's make an electric furnace. It's not a cane electric. All right. Um, redstone, iron furnace. All right, yeah, this is a really easy recipe. Um, circuit is what we're going to make First, I, st I need another refined iron. <laughs> I literally, I think, only made enough. Yeah. I only made enough to supply um, the demand needed to make all the materials for the solar array. So here we go. We're going to make this, and then we're going to finish up our setup again, and then we're going to end the episode off. So make the circuit like so and then oh yeah I have more redstone don't worry well first we need the iron furnace oh I always forget the iron furnace um, basically a regular furnace except made out of iron who'd have imagined so now that we have an electric furnace now we can set it up here and we'll supply it power um, via the cable mabobs of magicalness. Um, I think we'll have just enough. And we should have ju well, I think we'll have one extra actually. So there we go, that's supplying power, and now we need to replace the marble. And here we go, the electric furnace should be getting powered, and then we'll need another wooden transport pipe right here. A stone pipe, and then the double chest with all the items stored. So that's nice. We can now get rid of this regular old furnace. And the great thing about this is that this uses no coal. You need a lot of coal to be able to build this little array right here, but then it gets rid of your needs for it later on. So that's very good. So now we're going to pick up another engine and another couple levers. And then we can get out of here. And end the episode off. So let's place the furnace, or not the furnace, the uh, engine, the lever. Okay, good. That lever isn't like broken or something. And do this again. Oh. We'll do this, and then... Uh, 
and then we can just set up more of this. Okay, sorry, I got really silent there for a second. I don't know why. Um, Alright, so there we go. This setup will work. And this engine will get powered, and then this is going to get straight on macerated. Uh, except for this. Hmm. I think I'll have to rethink this setup a little bit, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the lever out here in front. Actually, you know what I what I could do, and it I, I, my goal was just to not have to see the wires from like any angle, but I mean you can't really tell they're down there anyway, so we'll just do that. So now that my only problem is with this, I can't actually turn off the lever without breaking the block. So. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to do it this way. This is no big deal. Like I said, I was just trying to avoid the prospect of having it visible. But whatever. We'll do this. Alright, sorry, I'm just taking up way too much time in this episode. Just wasting all of your time. So then we just need to move the chest over. And we should be good. And let's put all the ingots in there, which actually isn't that much anymore. Use these buttons up here to sort in different fashions. This is normal sort. Uh, vertical. And horizontal. Alright, so we'll put all this in. And thank you all for watching this episode of Tech It, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy.